The second type of asexual reproduction, second type that is called as fragmentation. The fragmentation process, fragmentation process, fragmentation process that should be takes only in the case of filamentous algae, filamentous algal forms. Fragmentous algae, where is the case of fragmentation process? The fragmentation process very common in the case of Spirovera, Spirovera and Nostar. Spirovera and Nostar. During its uh, asexual type of reproduction, for example, uh, Spirovera is a filamentous algae in which there is a number of cells inside the cell presence of nucleus and cell organelles, majorly. Chloroplast. Chloroplast is again in the form of spiral shape, therefore the name that is called spirovera. In the spirovera, during its reproduction, that should be split, that should be split into number of pieces. The spirovera splits into number of pieces. Such a pieces are called, such pieces are called fragments. Fragment. Each fragment that should be diverse into new individual. The one filamentous algae and this diagram, one filamentous algae or spiralita can produce three offsprings which are produced. This process is commonly in the case of spiralita or nostar. And one more other kind of asexual type of reproduction is called. Bud deformation. Buds are the outgrowths. Outgrowths. The outgrowths, especially in the case of that kind of uh, reproduction, is commonly occur in the case of yeast and hydra. In the case of yeast and hydra, the bud formation takes place. For example, uh, in the case of yeast, it is the Unicellular fungus, yeast is a unicellular fungus, usually that should be grown on sugary substance, therefore technically called saccharo, saccharomyces. Here the myces is fungus, here yeast is the fungus, it is a unicellular fungus, characteristic feature of that yeast, presence of large vacuum. And along with that large vacuum, it which a presence of nucleus and cytoplasm. It's a reproduction during the bud formation. At the surface of the yeast cells, at the surface of yeast, the outgrowths which are produced, outgrowths like this, outgrowths which are produced. In the case of this outgrowth, the nucleus is a divided nucleus is migrated and cytoplasm is also migrated. This bud is called bud. This bud is detached from the parent cell. That bud is developed into new individual, new organism. New organism, or new individual is produced from after the detachment of bud, especially in the case of yeast cell. Buds are the outgrowths of the parent cell, which detach from the parent cell. Individually, this will be developed into new organism, new individual. That process commonly happens in the case of in the case of Hydra, Hydra belongs to Silenterita. Silenterita. Here the region of terminal region of this Hydra, presence of tentacles. It is the body of the Hydra body. It is the mouth. These are the tentacles. At the surface of this Hydra, a uh, production of outgrowths like this, outgrowths which are produced. Such outgrowths which are detached from the parental body, this outgrowth or this bud, we call that bud is the into new individual, new organism. And this kind of process of bud formation is also occurring in the case of hydra. Also, the best example for a bud formation is an hydra for the process of fragmentation. Best example, Spirogera, Master, the case of fission, 
with by is the best example. And one more kind of asexual type of reproduction that is called as Zeus course formation. The Zeus course which are endogeneously originated, endogeneously originated, more than spores. Zeus course are endogeneously originated. Uh, more than spores are called as Zeus spores. Such as Zeus spores which are occurring in the case of. Clemdomonas. It is the green algae, Clemdomonas. The case of Clemdomonas occurs on Zeus pores. Structurally, it is also unicellular algae, unicellular algae, unicellular algae, in which uh, especially, especially the major the future of this algae, presence of cup shaped corpus above inside the cup shape. Of pyrenoid, pyrenoid is present, uh, the region of the nutrition, occurrence of flagella, flagella, along with the nucleus and other cell organs which are present. At the time of uh, its reproduction, the content of the cell that should be divides and re divides to produce a smaller sized spores, spores which are produced. Endogeneously originated. The spores in which occurrence of flagella, therefore, these are these are motile spores. After the development of the spores, it means zoospores. The spores, zoospores, after the after the development of zoospores, the wall of Kandamanas is burst open and all the spores which are Released out, released out, released out. For these spores are called zoospores. The released spores, which are ultimately turns into new individual, new organism. The one parent cell can produce a number of offspring. Therefore, it is also considered asexual reproduction. In here also, if there is an involvement of gametes, therefore, it is considered. Sexual type of reproduction. Next, one more type of asexual type that is called conidia formation. Conidia formation. In conidia conidia formation occurring, conidia formation occurring. One kind of fungus that is called as Penicillium mold fungi. Penicillium. In penicillium, penicillium belongs to mycota. It is belongs to it, it is the one that the plant body of mycelium, uh, plant body of penicillin is called mycelium. 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 The part of the mycelium is called as hypate. Part of the mycelium is called hypate. The hypate of the penicillium. That to be shows. These are the cells which are present in the case of penicillium and the terminal region of eye cells which produces thick wall exogenously originated. Thick wall exogenously originated non motile structures. These non motile structures does not have a flagella or cilia. Therefore, these are the structures which are considered as non-motile structures. Such non-motile structures are called conidia. conidia. And after the development of conidia, uh, these structures which are developed into new individual, such structures which are developed into new individuals, uh, this kind of reproduction is commonly occurring in the case of penicillium. A best example for conidia formation that is penicillium. Next type of reproduction, asexual type, that is called gemmules formation. The gemmules formation commonly occurring in the case of sponges. 
sponges. Asta, uh, we are the genitals which are usually called internal buds. Internal buds. The internal buds which are considered as gemmules, such internal buds which are always occur in the case of sponges. For example, structurally, sponges shows a opening, opening leads to a cavity called sponges. So, around that, this sponges cell presence of wall. The wall is provided with spicules. At the time of its reproduction, at the time of its reproduction, the gemmules which are formed, the gemmules means internal buds. Inside this sponges cell, the buds which are developed, the buds which are developed, such buds which containing characteristic cells, buds, internal bud, in the case of sponge containing, containing characteristic cells, such character, it is called internal bud. Here internal bud is called as a gemmule. Internal buds which containing characteristic cells are called archaeocytes. Archaeocytes, archaeocytes. And it's during its reproduction, the archaeocytes which are released out, archaeocytes which are released out from this body, each archaeocyte can develop into a new organism, new individual. This process is common in the case of sponges. Best example for chimel, the sponges which are the best examples. And the last type of asexual type of reproduction that is called as vegetative reproduction. That vegetative reproduction is also comes under asexual type because here the gametes will not produce, gametes will not be involved. Therefore, uh, in the case of plant bodies, the reproduction is called uh, vegetative reproduction. In the case of vegetative reproduction, propagules which are produced, propagules, the vegetative reproduction in the case of plant bodies where there is a production of propagules. Here the propagules means part of the plant, part of the plant that should be developed into a new individual, new organism, new plant body. Part of the plant can develop into a new plant. Such parts are called as a propagules. Such parts are called as propagules. The production of or uh, uh, reproduction in the case of plant bodies that is also called as vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation, for that vegetative propagation, propagules which are involved, here the propagules means part of the plant body, part of the plant body is developed into new plant, such parts are called as propagules. In angiospermic plants, in the case of angiospermic plants, different different types of propagules, different types of propagules which are occur. For example, one kind of propagule that is called as a runner. A runner is the propagule. The runner is involved for the production of new plant, new plant body. That is a runner. That runner, for that runner, uh, best example, axalis. Axalis is the best example for uh, what is runner? Runner is the propagule. That propagule occurs in the case of axalis. And one more a propagule that is called as rhizome. Rhizome. Rhizome is commonly occur in the case of banana plant, banana plant and ginger. In the case of ginger, the propagation or uh, asexual type of reproduction takes place through rhizome. The best example for rhizome, banana and ginger. And our more uh, propagule called Tuber, tubers, tubers are ice, tubers are ice. Uh, for that, best example, potato, potato is the best example. And one more, sucker is the propagule. For that sucker, the best example, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, and one more example for that, mint. And 
का ऑपरेटर नहीं है एंड वन मोर प्रॉफिटेबल लीव बट्स लीव बट्स लीव बट दिस एग्जांपल का लीव बट दिस ब्रायोफिना ब्रायोफिना इज द बेस्ट एग्जांपल एंड वन मोर प्रॉफिटेबल वर्ड बल The best example of a bell is onion, onion, and one more type of propeller that is called bell bill, bell bill. The best example of a bell bill again species. Again, the best example. These are the different different uh, kinds of propellers. One more type of propeller that we can consider as offset. Offset. In that offset, the best for that offset, the best example that is Icarnia. Icarnia, the commonly called water, water ISN. Usually, that water ISN, water ISN, or Icarnia. Drains the oxygen from the stagnant water. Drains the oxygen from the stagnant water. Therefore, all the aquatic organisms which are destroyed due to excessive growth of Icarnia. Therefore, this Icarnia is also called as terror of terror of Bengal. Why it is called terror of Bengal? Because Icar excessive growth of Icarnia in the water. Damages all the aquatic organisms. Therefore, it is called Terra Bengal. These are the different different structures which are used for plant propagation, plant reproduction. That is a sexual type of reproduction. Such as the parts of parts, in the case of plant body, which are used for the production of new plants. Such parts are called as propagules. For that. In the case of agriculture, propagation role is very very important for the multiplication of plant bodies. Propagation is such a very very important. Okay, uh, understood these points. Okay, thank you.